The next example, determine if the quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. So uh, we're given the, um, the coordinates of each um, of all the vertices of the quadrilateral, and then we have to determine if it's a parallelogram. So I can just draw it, draw it a parallelogram. It doesn't matter how you draw it as long as, remember, um, when we label this out, it has to be A, B, C, D, or it has to be um, these, these have to be um, the next, uh, vertices have to be next to each other. Okay, it can't be jumping over, so it can't be A, C, D, B. Okay, none of that. Okay, it has to be um, in the order, consecutive. Um, and I'm just drawing this just to show what, which coordinates are next to each other. Okay, which ones are consecutive. So, um, again, you can use slope or you can use distance formula. Since we used slope last time, let's use distance formula this time. So I'm going to find the distance of AB, compare that to the distance of CD and see if they're congruent. Um, and then before you move on, why don't you just try those two and see if they're congruent. Okay, because if they're not, then you don't have to do any more work. You can just automatically say, no, it's not a parallelogram. Okay, so um, just do one pair of sides first, and then if they are congruent, then move on to the next pair, and then see if they're congruent, okay? So distance formula is x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. So distance of AB is square root of 5 minus 9 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared. 5 minus 9 is negative 4 squared plus 6 squared. This is 16 plus 36, which is 52. Okay, now you can go ahead and simplify it if you want. Um, your teacher might want you to simplify it, but since all, like, all we're doing is just comparing to see if AB and CD are going to be the same. So I can just leave it like that and then see if CD is going to come out to be the same thing. Um, if your teacher wants you to actually find the distance of each side and um, show the distance and, you know, make it simplified or round it to the nearest decimal, um, then go ahead and you have to simplify that. And, or, or else, if it's just to determine if it's a parallelogram, then you can just leave it, okay? A way to simplify that, though, just to show you, um, we know that 52 is not a perfect square, so what you can do is factor tree. So 52, um, 2 is a prime number, and 26, okay, 2, circle it, and 13, okay? So... This is the same thing as square root of 2 times 2 times 13. And then we know that this can come out as a 2. So then this is 2 root 13. Okay? Um, CD. So CD next. CD is, using these two, 8 minus 3 squared plus negative 5 minus 2 squared. That's nothing. Oh, you know what? Five, negative 5 minus a negative 2, that's a plus. And then square root of, this is 5 squared plus negative 3 squared. 25 plus 9, this is 30 Four, we found AB and CD, and they're not the same. Let me just double check. Okay, let's double check our work. So this is 5 minus 9 squared, 6 minus 0 squared, right? And then for CD, 8 minus 3 squared, 
and negative 5 minus negative 2 squared. Okay, so we got 16 plus 36, which is 52, square root of 52, square root of um, 5 squared plus negative 3 squared, that's 25, plus 9, which is square root of 34. So autumn, I know that since these are not congruent, this is square root of 52, and this is square root of 34. They're different. I, I can stop here. I don't have to continue and show my other two sides. Um, again, unless your teacher wants you to. If all I have to determine is if this is a parallelogram or not, then I can just stop here and say, no, it's not a parallelogram, okay? No, quadrilateral ABCD is not a parallelogram, okay? Because opposite sides are not congruent, okay? If it was congruent, if they were the same, then you'd have to go ahead and um, find the distance of BC, find the distance of AD, and then see if, and then compare those two, okay?